So you get your engine back laying flat. Um, I like it's just more maneuverable without putting the plate on right now. So it's up to you how you want to build that. But I um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour I don't know six ounces or so two stroke down in each one of these, um, and then just kind of hand turn it a few times just to get all that bottom in good and lubricated up. I'll pour two stroke over the new bearings and wipe inside of each rod end with two stroke oil. Um, you know, you want to make sure you're pouring it on this there cause you've, your bearing for your lower rod bearing is in there. Get it, you know, just get it poured in there. We're going to lube this thing up nice. Um, of course, if you spill oil on your gasket surface, you want to make sure that you clean that off before you put your gasket on. So that's the next step I do. Get my oil in my lower end. Make sure everything's lubed up good. And you're going to drip little spots on here. Get them off um, before you seal it up. Um, this is the hardest part of the build that's coming up because what you've basically got to do if you don't have an extra person to help you, since it's a single triple cylinder, if that makes sense, it's one cylinder with three holes, um, you're basically doing a balancing act to get uh, your uh, rings. You're holding this thing up, you're holding this thing up, and you're trying to seat it. Um, how I did it last time was to get one end in the furthest up position, like this, up. Um, and then you're, you're, kind of, you're kind of having to manipulate too much stuff by yourself. Uh, it's kind of hard to do, but uh, you want to try to stage them so that it's kind of like boom, boom, boom. And you know, that's how you're dropping them in. So you've got one up higher than the rest. The next one is getting ready to drop in. It, it, it's, it's really tricky. Um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to go ask my neighbor to help me. Because if you screw it up, you can break a ring really easily. And those rings are $30-something for the set of one set of rings. So that's the tricky part. I've heard of people using their engine lift to hold this up for them while they ease it down and get it set. It's just, this is a very difficult job to do by yourself. Uh, just because of the, the size of this piece and then what you're fooling with, it can be done. I will never video myself doing it for the amount of cussing that I do trying to get the thing done. All right. Got my oil in. I put a little too much. You can see it came out when you when you turn it. It'll it'll send it some out of here. So I had to acetone all my gasket surfaces again. Um, I always do that after for this part. I do it after I've gotten the oil in because of that. Um, let me see. And this vacuum hose has got a little bit of a nick in it. Look at that. I'm gonna have to replace that. I think that's gonna have to be replaced. Anyway, your uh, Lower cylinder head gasket. Make sure you put it in correctly. Up. The word up. Facing up. And there's no directional arrow on this one because once you've got that correct, the gasket is correct. And it'll line up with your dowel. If you put it backwards, it won't line up with your dowel pin. So you pretty much have to have that word up, facing up, or your gasket will not fit. Then you get your... Bearings set, install your pistons on each one of your rods, and that's the next step that we'll be doing. Okay, I've got my first piston in. I've still got to pop the rings on it. Um, just wanting to make note that, once again, the rings, these two rings are identical for this build on this engine. You've got, see that little roll pin there and then there's one there that's where your openings for your rings are going to go uh, and as i've said on other builds most of your rings have beveled edges 
Let's see if we can get this to focus. See those edges? Let me get my finger on her. There's a beveled edge. In other words, it's not just flat. So you want the beveled edge to go under the pin. So that means this is the way they go on. They're going to seat under that pin and the edges are going to pinch together when it's in the cylinder under that pin. So if you put them in wrong, they're not going to pinch together like they're supposed to. It's probably going to cause some cylinder damage. Uh, and it can be a little bit of a pain to get these sir clips in. The little circle clip. I should have showed a picture of one of them before I just talked about it. Here's one from an old cylinder. These sir clips are what holds the wrist pins in that holds the cylinder to this rod. It's called a wrist pin. And you want the opening like that facing up in the 12 o'clock position. So put this opening in the 12 o'clock position. Make sure they're seated all the way. I always flashlight check these on either side of the piston or the wrist pin so that I make sure that I've got it seated all the way. And so this particular one, the instructions said, hey, there's no thrust washers. Some of your pistons will require a washer that goes here on either side of your bearing. Um, these don't, these WSMs don't. Uh, the Yamaha ones that I did build, they did require that. So everything's a little bit different and you just follow the instructions with the pistons. No thrust washers on this one. Just make sure you put your piston rings in properly. Make sure these are seated all the way. And when you're working with these, always wear eye protection and keep your finger over the hole in it like this. When you're working that pin in with a screwdriver so that it don't pop and go flying. If it pops off and your finger's in there, it's just going to stay on your finger. But if you just, if you don't have this thing secured and it decides to go flying, you're never going to find it. And then you have to buy just some of these and that'll be real fun for you. And so just avoid that. And also think about it when you're working with a triple like this. The reason I did the middle first is because when I build these other pistons, um, I'll build it so that the pin, the wrist pin will come in slide in this way so when i put my i'll put my next piston on i'll have the circlip already in on this side of the piston slide this pin in put the circlip in here and it'll be the opposite for this one i'll have the uh, uh, piston on with the circlip on this side and slide my wrist pin in from this direction that way it just you're, you're just making the job a little bit easier for you working with it that's why i did the middle one first get the rings on and of course with the two strokes your arrow points towards your exhaust on your piston and these are 25 over and i did size check them in my bore I take the piston and i just slide it to make sure that he bored it to the right and it fits in there and it'll slide easily that's without rings on it just let it make sure it slips in there and it's a good, good fit. And you know that the rings are going to make up the difference. So those are just little things that you do when you're building an engine and we'll get on with the rest guys. of it. It was too frustrating for me. I just didn't have the mojo today or whatever. Anyway, my neighbor just left. We got it. And me and him or him and I, we don't know how in the world I was ever able to do it by myself. Because it took all the two people to get this thing on. And it was two people and my band kit. And we could squeeze. So he's sitting here holding the cylinder and I'm banding the rings with this. And letting it slowly drop to get each one. And here's how we did it. It was, uh, it was staging, staging the cylinders. So just like you see them here, they're, how they're stair-stepped right now. Boom, boom, boom. That's how we got it on. 
Got the high, got this in the highest position. <coughs> Slipped it on this one. Get it up where it's next, and then this. So we it was a, it was a, like stair steps to uh, work that on. Once you've done this step, the rest of the build is easy. It's a breeze. But I highly, highly suggest get someone to help you. Um, you can squeeze the rings with your fingers and do it. Cause I've done it by myself that way, but it's two or three hours of cussing and fussing with it and it'll try your patience. Um, anyway, this one's ready to go on. I've got to get, remember we've got acorn nuts for all eight of these. And this is 25 foot pounds of torque. Okay. So head gasket on the word up arrow pointing toward the front of the engine. This is the front with the big ugly part. In your head, cylinder head. Oh, it'll fit two ways. Yeah, but look on it. It also has an arrow telling you which end goes forward. It makes it easy for you. You drop that on. Get all of your little washers in place. Put on your acorn nuts. And have at it. Once again, they are numbered. There's number three. There's number four. So it's to be one, two, three, four. And again, working from the middle out to torque them. And it's 22 for your torque sequence. So once again, Go half of that first, then torque it to your final torque. Same with the bottom. I haven't tightened them yet. 